A mother's relief after her daughter was murdered 30 years ago. Some comfort for 77-year-old Mary Sadotti. The real killer of Teresa de Simone has been identified six months after Sean Hodgson was released after serving 27 years in prison for the murder he didn't commit. It's all because of DNA evidence which has been used. It showed that not only was Mr Hodgson not guilty of the crime, but it's shown who was. The body of David Lace was exhumed last month and police say he would now be their prime suspect if he was still alive. Lace committed suicide 21 years ago and didn't feature as part of the police's original investigation, despite actually admitting to the murder just 18 months after Mr Hodgson was convicted. Detective Chief Inspector Phil McTavish led the investigation. It is therefore confirmed that the DNA profile of the suspect, David Lace, is a complete match with the DNA profile from the original crime scene. A match probability of one in one billion has been given, which basically means that the chances of obtaining a similar match from a person selected at random is of the order of one in one billion. It was back in 1979 that Teresa de Simone's half-naked body was found in a car parked behind a pub in Southampton. She'd been raped, strangled and her jewellery had been stolen. Julian Young is a solicitor who represented Mr Hodgson. He says he'll now look into compensation for his client for all the years he spent wrongfully behind bars. I think Mr Hodgson wants to get on with life. I mean, his life is not easy because, of course, so much has happened in the last 30 years. He's, lived, he's been in an institution for that very long period of time. And he's logically, as anyone would be, institutionalised to a certain extent. However, he's making good progress. But nevertheless, um, he's making progress. Um, there is still the, the claim um, in respect of the miscarriage of justice which is being made and other claims will be, be looked into. And Teresa de Simone's mum and stepdad say this will now give them some closure and relief. Relief now, yes. It was a shock to, to start off, you know, six months ago when we first heard about it. That was a shock because we always thought it was Hodgson. But it's a relief now, yes. It's a relief now to think they at last got the right man. They say they now hope to be able to start to move on.